Hey guys, it's Dave from AFPTComics.com with another Transformer! And it's another Transformer that was given to me by Hasbro. Thanks Hasbro for giving me this for free. Uh, they wanted me to have one of these to show off. This is an SDCC exclusive product. Um, it is it titled the Transformers Studio Series 19 Bumblebee Volume 1 Retro Rock Garage. It's a pretty cool box, I have to say. Uh, it retails for $59.99. Um, I'm going to say it's probably pretty hard to find this right now. It was selling at the Hasbro Toy Shop. Um, look at that font. So nice. It's like graffiti or something. Uh, as you can see on the back of the box, we have I Transformer 80s. But I think that's supposed to be a heart. Uh, obviously, this is uh, made to be like a uh, mixtape or cassette tape. I think these are all kind of like reminiscent of Transformers isms. Um, I uh, actually saw this at SDCC when I was reporting there this year. Uh, it was pretty cool to see uh, up close. And what's pretty cool is this is actually a slip case with the figure inside of it. And as you can see, it's kind of reminiscent of um, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a big cassette tape though, can you tell? <laughs> You've got uh, Bumblebee up there already transformed into the car. And then um, this cool little section in the front here. Now what happens if I pull on this? What? There's like a little pocket with uh, other cassette tape characters and engine parts and whatnot. Um, look at that. It's like there's tape from the cassette tape. The box is pretty cool. Other side, similar. Uh, in, out, volume one, retro rock garage. It's a pretty cool uh, box for sure. Let's open this. Now, um, I'm gonna guess this is made because of a new movie coming out, Bumblebee. So I took, I took this part out. And then there's, there's actually this piece in here. Don't mind the thunderstorm, guys. I'm safe, I think. I'm gonna put this over here for now. Just inspect the main, the main drag. Oh, there's like a little manual thing in here. This is supposed to be a special edition Bumblebee Gold Camaro figure. It comes with two Dynamite Dino cassette figures, Daru and Ura Uriaz. I don't know. The evil twin of Zar Zaru. Okay. <laughs> Remix from an 80s Japan only release. Very cool. Uh, okay, so we have the instructions here on how to transform our transformers. That's pretty cool. There you got the car. And then... Of, uh, transformer. And then we've got... Ooh, the tapes. Very cool. And that's what they transform into, little dinos. Oh, the bottom one's cute. And then... This. So the Transformer that I unboxed yesterday, the uh, Power of the Prime's Optimal Optimus, he actually had, uh, he's, this actually had names for them. This one doesn't. So dummies like me don't know what it's about. All right, so we got to cut this thing open, don't we? Just little plastic bands. Kind of suits this figure because the car might be tied down like so. Usually, oh, it just comes right out. And... Studio Series Bumblebee Transformers. This is all just cardboard that could be thrown out. So we have the toy. Dun, dun, dun. This is a really cool little toy, actually. Oh my god, he's in there peeking at us. He's so cute. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice size. As you can see, I have a pretty average palm, and it's about as big as my palm. Um, and it's really held together pretty cleanly. It's got a nice little look. Let's see if it drives right here. Oh, it does. It drives drive. Uh, wheels are hard plastic, not rubber, just in case you were curious. And, um, you can actually see inside a little bit. You can actually fit a human in there. If we could shrink ourselves down. And on the bottom here it says Z28. On the other side it does as well. No license plates! That's not good. Um, okay, so let's get the dino tapes out, which they also have these little rubber bandy things. 
Cut these, cut these, cut these. Got one. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. Got two. And then we've got these engine pieces also sort of strapped in. Which is hard to cut again. Man. I have to give it to Hasbro. They make it tricky to <laughs> steal. Not that you should steal, kids. Don't steal. But what I mean is they make it tricky for the guy who got the toy to get the pieces out. All right. I guess if you just twist it enough, it'll pop out, as you can see. All right, this one might need some scissor action. Can he do it? Can he do it? Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna do the, the finger motion again. Yeah! Get that piece of it. Okay, good. And then this weird engine piece thing. Um, oh, look, it's, it's almost like it's coming out to make it easier for us. But not really. Alright. There we go. Got it out. Sweet. All right, we officially have all the pieces out. We've got the car, which you can barely see on camera here. And then the, yeah, tapes, some engine pieces. I'll just put those in my hand so you can see, actually. Ta-da! So chrome. Look at that finish. Okay. All right. So obviously this is, there's limited quantities of this uh, transformer. Um, I haven't looked. I'm sure you can find resellers who are trying to fleece you with $200 to buy one of these guys. Um, at $59.99, though, it's unfortunate they would pull something like that. Um, so let's start here, yeah? Since we have a car already built. It looks like we need to put the engine in. What is this? Guys, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's pull this out. All right. First of all, it looks like, let's just, you know what? I'm not even gonna look at the directions because I'm, I'm a madman. I'm gonna just pull, pull stuff apart. <laughs> if it comes apart, it probably won't break. I found yesterday with Opti, oh, uh-oh. Maybe that wasn't, uh-oh. No, I think that's okay, guys, don't worry. I'm not worried. Uh, with the optimal optimist that these toys kind of... All right, you know what? I need to look at directions. Hold on. All right. A lot of little flappy parts that come out. Like this. How does this... It looks like... This wants to come right out, but it doesn't. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I think, oh, I think, I think. So if you're into Transformers, this is probably gonna be something you really want with the new movie coming out. Man, oh man, I cannot figure out. God. All right. I'm gonna put this over. All right. All right. Now. 
this part right here on the hood comes up. And I have to say, this was extremely hard to lift up. I had to, off camera, like really just go at it and get it off. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's the first time it's ever been opened, but that it's really tight in here uh, and required a hell of a lot of force. Okay, now that we're back on track, um, we need to fold these. Oh, let's move this completely up so it's out of the way. Fold these, it appears, teensy bit up. Not too much. So sometimes I get confused with these because um, the uh, this goes like this. This one goes. Oh, this is probably the arm I broke earlier. Uh, sometimes it seems like it's gonna. It's, it shouldn't move, and I don't want to break the plastic. But then it will move if you just keep keep at it. Next are the doors which come out like so. And now 90 degree, okay, so like this. Aha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So these, these, these don't really wanna turn, but then you, once you do get them, you can go like this. And now we've got a guy who looks a lot like Bumblebee. Now the legs, let's see here, so. Next part is this part. Oh, it does. There it goes. There it goes. Again. <laughs> Need some WD forty on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. All right. Oh boy. I think. All right. It's funny, these things kind of look like spiders at a certain point. All right, the legs are out. Now, I think I did that part. Hmm, does it look like him? Pretty close. All right, how do we do these feet? It really is like this, this movie in a way, like little parts come apart that you did not expect. Now I think it's calling for this engine piece now. Which goes in here. You plug it into his spot here. All right, covers his butt. Not bad. And then hmm, let's turn him around here. He's looking pretty good. arm, there we go, and then turn his arm, not bad, not bad, this is pretty close I think, tell me if I'm wrong, in the comments, so if you want, you can pull his arm off, and take off this back piece, I think, and then plug in this piece, so he has got a cannon arm, which is pretty cool. If you ask me, not bad. Next up, these guys. This, I'm not sure which one's which, to be honest. It doesn't say uh, which what. I'm gonna just, so first of all, check it out. Pretty cool, looks like a tape. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s, you'll know what this is. <laughs> if you grew up in the 90s, you won't. Got a little uh, Transformer logo there. This guy as well. This one's orange, clear orange plastic with uh, blue stickers. This one is not clear, it's green plastic, blue stickers, darker blue. And I'm gonna imagine if I just go nuts on this, not even looking at instructions, and just pull this thing apart, will it 
transform into what I need it to. To be honest, I'm already lost. Is this the Stegosaurus? Oh my god! Is that it? I just did it, I think. <laughs> uh, hold on. Looking at the instructions now. Alright, this tail doesn't... Yeah, there you go. He's got a machine gun. Oh my lord. So you take these extra chrome pieces. And you can chrome out your Dinobot. Okay, now he's ready for action. Look at that. He's cute too, isn't he? Oh, he wants to commit murders. Put him right there. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one again. I'm gonna just go nuts. Take it apart. Oh my God! I already. I'm seeing it. Did you seeing it? Are you seeing the dinosaur? Cause I am. All right. Little. Yep. You know, it's almost like a raptor. Oh, he opens up a little too. Look at that. Um. This is like a tail of some sort. Oh, I see. So then he gets guns too. I think this is actually upside down, maybe. Ah, like this. Like so, and like so. All right. And I think his feet aren't right though, are they? They don't look right. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's ingenious. All right. Dino ready. To attack. All right, so we've made the two Dinobots and our Bumblebee. Here is one last thing which I am not going to make because I think I, I think I want you guys to make it. You take the two tapes and you turn it into a little robot guy. Transformer right now. And uh, he looks pretty stiff, but uh, he's got lots of guns. It's pretty cool. So, anywho, uh, we just made the uh, STCC exclusive Transformers Studio Series 19 Bumblebee Volume 1 Retro Rock Garage Transformers. The Bumblebee is quite cool. Um, as you can see, it was a little tricky to get some of the pieces um, uh, off uh, apart and ready to like transform um the detail in this figure is pretty cool he's got some nice chromage uh the car version is really nice um and obviously he's posable he the i mean just for a second here this thing is quite detailed for such a small toy um and it really does have like that feel that it's actually transforming from one thing to another i mean this is this is cool engineering. Um, and also, he's got kind of like wings. Um, cool figure. And then it's really, it's really nice that it comes with two tapes, um, which are quite heavy. I think there's definitely a lot of metal in here that's uh, making it heavy. They feel really sturdy. Um, I mean, they're flat, but I mean, there are tapes, right? If you watch the cartoon, you know, you know, you know who these guys are. Um, and again, the design is really cool. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, we will also have a full score and uh, some pictures on the website to peruse at aiptcomics.com. I hope you liked watching this. If you have any comments or criticisms, please let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.